Let me be frank, I want to talk about Storygraph a little bit because I absolutely love that platform and I love the different features that it has versus like Goodreads or maybe some of the other ones when it comes to like the pie charts and the half star ratings that is really important. Goodreads. <laughs> but I, there's definitely really cool features that I love about it and I love being, being able to support maybe someone that's like more of a small creator versus like Amazon. But I don't know if it's just me, I'm missing like a social aspect a little bit. Like one thing that I think Goodreads does really well is that you see on your news feed or whatever they call it, the feed, or whatever you see, like what people are liking and what they're reviewing and what they're reading. And that's kind of like the home screen. And I love that. And that's something I think with Storygraph, if I, I don't know if there's any way to email them or anything, or if anyone else feels this way that uses Storygraph, but I feel like that's maybe lacking a little bit, or sometimes I feel alone in posting with Storygraph. And I think back then when I used Storygraph, I thought to myself, well, a lot of people maybe just aren't using it yet. And that's why I feel a little bit isolated when it comes to posting. But there, there was that whole thing, maybe was it back in December or something where so many users were signing up onto Storygraph and it like completely crashed the site because I couldn't handle it, which is like amazing. Um, I hope they got so much support and made like a lot from that, from all the new users joining and stuff, if they got premium or whatever. But I just, yeah, I still feel like kind of alone on there. I don't know. I, I want to see what people are, right? I think there's a tab for it, but I, I just, I, maybe it needs to be more prominent or something, or maybe I'm just not using all the features as much as I could be. But yeah, what do you guys think about that?